and welcome to another What's Sold video where I'm going to share with you everything that sold for me October 1st to October 7th. Miss Moxie, of course, is down here looking grumpy as usual and or adoringly at my hands wanting to know why they're not petting her. So I'm going to scoot over here and we're going to start with Poshmark because I made a Poshmark sale. It is this vintage cake plate. I found this at an estate sale. I paid $2 for it. It sold for $10 on Poshmark. Did I make a whole lot of money from this? No, but it is finally out of my house and for that I am grateful. <laughs> I probably won't pick up this stuff again. I just wanted to try it. It was so cheap and it was a vintage German like cake plate. I found two duck ones which already sold and two floral ones. I have one floral one left but I'm glad that this one sold. Super happy. We're gonna move over here so I don't bop Miss Moxie off with my butt because I have done that before and I felt slightly bad for it but you know she was in the way and she did not move because you know she's super great about paying attention to her surroundings when it behooves her or not because she doesn't realize that the hand is over here now. We're over here for eBay because eBay is my main bay and we're gonna start off with a vintage piece. This sold for my full asking price of $24.87. This is a vintage 80s piece. It's a wool blend Tarleton plaid. Uh, if it's a wool blend flannel and it's vintage, I will normally pick it up. This had okay sell through, which is why I decided to pick it up, but I did pick it up like a year ago and it did take a while to sell. Another vintage piece. This is from the 80s. This was a purple collared sweater. It's very rare to find a collared knit sweater. It, again, I feel like that is peak 80s because that's not really something that's common but it was purple and purple people of purple and it sold for $14 I believe I paid $4 for this at a thrift store this is one of the vintage vinyl records again I have listed all of the vinyl now so I'm just waiting for the uh, less popular albums to sell but this sold as soon as I listed it for $47 this is winger I was actually shocked when I listened to this because again I, I did buy a record player so I could test all the records. I had no idea who these people were, but I have heard and like knew the words to multiple songs from this album. Apparently I just never knew the band name. <laughs> so I was really happy to listen to this. It's a very enjoyable listen and you know it's very enjoyable to turn the two dollars that I paid for this at the Goodwill in that giant record haul uh, into 47 of course it costs four dollars to ship this but perfectly happy to make a forty dollar profit off of this this is a vintage dress i picked up it was bright blue it had puff sleeves it had a high like mock neck collar with like some ruffling i just thought it was cute it's very rare that i pick up dresses anymore unless i either feel like it's dumb of me not to and or it's like a really interesting vintage piece and this checked off the vintage piece boxes sold for $24 and the buyer already said that they loved it and they were like this is even better in person so happy about that. This is from the big book buyout I did where I, I purchased over 200 brand new books. However, when I went to list this one uh, and took a picture of the uh, edition page, I found out that the author actually had signed this one on the title page, so I was able to list it a little bit higher, and this actually went to an international buyer, which I was surprised by, and it sold relatively quickly, considering what it was. Sold for $19.87, so I paid uh, $3.82 to ship it, and then, of course, whoever bought it paid all the other international things. So I made $15 relatively quickly off of that book. This is a dress I actually bought for my lovely friend Victoria over at Super Geeked a long time ago, like three or four years ago. I wore it a couple times and then I decided to resell it because uh, I didn't like the way it fit me in my shoulders. Uh, it's, you know, it's always tricky for me, like I, I have a really long inseam and then I have broad shoulders. So even if someone gives me like the pit to pit measurement, which I absolutely hate calling it that. Uh, even if someone gives me the bust measurement, it's it's still the shoulders, and, and that was a problem with this dress. Sold it for my full asking price of $16.87, so, you know, again, it was something that I wanted to buy for my friend to support her because I love the color green, and then I got to wear it a few times, and now it's moved on to new home, so, again, nice circle of life there because I'm sure this is something that she picked up at a thrift store. Another book from the big book buyout. This is Arden Shakespeare, so it, it's just a 
Shakespearean work, Measure for Measure, is one of the Shakespearean plays. Uh, I do believe they give like little notes and uh, annotations at the bottom talking about like what it's referencing it historically, which is helpful, you know, if you're not someone who knows a lot about the UK, because a lot of them take place in areas in the UK. And if you're an American reader or an other type of reader, like an Australian reader, you might not know certain places or references. So sold for $9.87. Again, I paid 10 cents for this. So it cost about, again, $3.82 to send it. Happy for a quick five bucks. So I love picking up uh, Tahari linen pieces. They normally sell pretty quickly. This one did not, and I did not understand why, but that's okay because I actually wore this a couple times before it sold. This is size medium, and it was like this nice little mint green color, and it sold for $8, and again, I got to wear it a couple times, and I paid $3 for this at a thrift store, so it didn't make a whole lot of profit, but I got to wear it, and it didn't end up in the landfill, so happy about that. This I was actually super surprised how quickly it sold. This is that vintage 60s sweater, that bright yellow knit top. I told you like vintage knit, like short sleeve sweaters and knit tops are really trendy right now. And this sold pretty much as soon as I listed it, like within like three days, sold for $18. And yeah, I, I wasn't expecting normally with most vintage stuff. I'm like super ecstatic if it sells within six months to a year. I, it's not going to be a quick sale, but when it's, you know, third, less than 30 days, I'm like, this is great. I would like to do that again. <laughs> this is another recent pickup. This is a new with Tags Old Navy piece. This, like the yellow top that I just showed you, both came from my collab with Victoria and Melissa. And both of those items sold very quickly after I posted that What Sold video. This sold for $10 and I paid $3 and some change for this uh, at that thrift store. Another book from the book buyout. So I paid 10 cents for this. It sold for $14.87. Again, I made a quick $10 off of this. Perfectly happy with that. And another vintage record sold. See what I've been listing, right? <laughs> this is from 1987. It's a multi, motley, I don't know why I can't say this word. Motley crew item, uh, record. It's not, a, I mean, it is an item, but it's a, whatever. You know what I mean? I sold this record. <laughs> sold for $25. Again, I paid $2 for this in that big record buyout. It cost $3.82 to ship it, so I still made like over $18 for this. Perfectly happy with that. Another book from the buyout, paid 10 cents for this, sold it for 14. This is actually a huge thank you to a viewer, Caitlin. I very much appreciate you watching my videos and your message meant a lot to me. I had recently posted the video where I did the weekly listing challenge and got very discouraged. And then I had also released that week the video where I did the collaboration with Victoria and Melissa that I had previously mentioned. And this was one of the things I picked up in that video uh, that went through the, the Halloween challenge. And she sent me a very lovely message. You know, I'd already been wanting these when I saw it in your other videos, so I went ahead and bought them. So she bought Lock Shock and barrel for my full asking price of $39.87 and Caitlin I just wanted to let you know that that meant a lot to me that you did that uh, especially you know I wasn't begging for sales but the fact that you thought enough to do that to try to help uplift my spirits meant a lot and I hope you're enjoying uh, the, the little guys and I actually found out that the reason why they're named lock shock and barrel is because that's how they died I've learned all kinds of stuff about Night Flamer for Christmas on TikTok this year. I don't know why, but I hope you love them. And again, thank you. This is a Lululemon piece. This actually fit me great, but it's pink. So I let it move on to a new home. This is a women's size eight. This is the Wonder Under and it sold for $20. It's rare that I find Lululemon in my area at all. Even though there's a Lululemon store in Williamsburg, I don't know why. I'm guessing it's because everybody who loves Lululemon likes to hold on to it. Sold for $20 in the buyer paid for shipping and I paid $5 for this at a thrift store. This is a vintage Y2K piece. I do pick up anything at Delia's whenever I find it. I don't know why Moxie wants to show you all her butt right now, but there's that. Uh, just because of the fact that, uh, again, I've mentioned this multiple times that I have a lot of memories circling almost everything in the Delia's catalog in the 90s and in the early 2000s and never being able to afford any of it. So I buy it whenever I pick it up now. And it sold for my full asking price of $19.87. 
Uh, Delia's is actually owned by Dolls Kills now, and I don't support them, but I will buy their stuff secondhand. And if you don't know, Dolls Kills is a great brand to look out for while you're thrifting, as far as like their shoes, especially if you can find their shoes in good shape. Those can sell for a lot of money, but happy for the sale and again, happy for that little bit of nostalgia. Another book from the buyout, so I paid 10 cents for this, shipped it for four, so I made 10 bucks off the sale. This is a Lucky Brand sweater. This is one of the items I also picked up for that collaboration with Melissa and Victoria, sold for $15, so again, I did really good for that shopping trip, so I'd like to thank Victoria and Melissa again for collaborating with me. I will, of course, link their channels uh, in the description down below, but you got me thrifting again as I've been trying to work really hard on this death pile and I feel like it helped breathe quite a bit of life back into my store, so thank you for that. Loudmouth skirt. I've talked about Loudmouth before that they make both men's and women's golf apparel. I don't really feel like people talk about it very much on reselling YouTube, but Loudmouth is a decent brand. Uh, the louder the print, the better. That's what they're known for. Loud, obnoxious, like quintessential golf prints. Argyle, crazy colors, bright colors. That's what sells really well for them. Sold for $22 and the buyer paid for shipping. This is just a loud pink Argyle skirt. I like had sold one a month ago that was green and yellow. So I do pick them up whenever I find them. Another vinyl piece, this was also a joy. I love Pat Benatar. Uh, this is one of her 1985 albums and I enjoyed listening to it. Another one I paid $2 for. This one sold for $10 with free shipping. So, you know, I only made like a few dollars off of it, but at this point it's all profit. I've already paid myself back for buying the albums, buying the record player, I buying the new inserts that I can use for future albums that I pick up, and uh, I also paid for all of the shipping materials. So everything is just honestly profit now, and such a blessing to learn a new niche, make so much money off of it, and still continue to make money off of it, and then now I have the means to continue making money from this specific niche. So it's awesome. Speaking of, Poison from 1988. This is the Poison album. Uh, open up and say, ah, I sold this for $25. Lots of vinyl sales because this that, that week that I did that video, a lot of the stuff I was listing was books and records and thus that was what you see I'm selling now after that week because this is basically the week after I did that listing challenge. So that's what's selling. Apparently I just needed to wait a little while and I wouldn't be discouraged anymore. But the last item I'd like to share with you is a casual corner sale. Talk about casual corner a lot. Again, it is a vintage brand. I typically find items from the 90s in the Y2K era because it's normally what's available in my area. Oh, Moxie just yeeted my phone out of my hand. Uh, this is a Christmas vest and it's sold first week of October. So I'm guessing the holidays are on everybody's mind. I picked this up because, again, it was vintage, it was Y2K, it was casual corner, it was a holiday vest. You know, ugly Christmas sweater is a thing. If you have some ugly Christmas sweaters, get them listed. Now's the time to be listing them. Sold for $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. But that is everything that sold for me the first week of October. Um, sales are starting to pick up. We are at the beginning of quarter four, or we're in quarter four now at the time of you watching this video. Again, huge shout out to Caitlin. Your message meant a lot and I do appreciate you giving Lock, Shock and Barrel a new home and I do hope you are enjoying them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye. Hero, bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.